literally is the worst at finding anything. Or they find everything, but they're just the worst at giving it back to you. What's up everybody, it's Tommy Runs. It is storytelling time. I don't know where the camera is, right here? Is that you? Yeah, that's the camera. So guys, it's Tommy Runs, and I wanna tell you a quick story. After the Muddy 5K in Toledo, Ohio, I already talked about it a little bit, but, um, so what happened was I ran a PR of 17.23, but today, this story is sadly not about a PR in a 5K. It's about housekeeping right? Housekeeping literally is the worst at finding anything. Or they find everything, but they're just the worst at giving it back to you. That's the problem. So what happened was I checked out of the hotel with my daughter. We leave the hotel. I go back to the race because I forgot my first place age group um, plaque. Uh, I'm happy about that. So I, I left this plaque. I went back and got it. Um, it's maybe five minutes away talked to the guy for a second, got back in the car, realized I left my watch at the hotel. I'm back at the hotel front desk within 15 minutes of when I left out and checked out officially, right? And I go up to the front desk and say, hey lady, I forgot my watch in the room. It's on the bathroom counter. I left it sitting there for sure. It's just a running watch. I said the just part so that they wouldn't think it's anything special. And it was a Coros running watch. I just got that Coros running, running watch like maybe two, three weeks before that. And I was absolutely in love with the Apex 2, right? And so I go up there. She gives me a key. I go up there. I'm about to open the door. Door's already open, right? Door's open. I'm like, what? You know, why is the door open? Obviously, I knew that the housekeeping was in there. So I said, excuse me, hello. Knocked on the door, nobody answers. And I open the door and no one's in there, right? The sheets are off the bed, they're in a pile. The, the bathroom's clean. Uh, the trash is in a bag in the corner. So she was in the process of stripping this room, but is now gone. Her cart's outside, she's gone, room's half done, nobody can find her. The other housekeeping lady comes down, she's like, let me look for her, she's yelling in all these different rooms, lady, nowhere to be found, right? She's like, well, I mean, I think she's going to have to go to the front desk, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I sat there for 30 minutes. Um, apparently, yeah, I didn't, apparently the girl never saw the watch, never saw it. Um, don't know where she went for 30 minutes. I'm sure she went to Google and Googled the fact that the Apex 2 costs like 400 bucks or whatever and decided that she was never going to turn it in and she was going to do something else with it. So I had a great day, PR'd, but really mad about the watch. Bummed out. Bummed out. Shout out to, uh, to Jamar Eaton who hooked me up with that watch in the first place. I was pissed, right? Anyway, had that never happened, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to kick it with some Coros people, and today, 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 I got something in the mail, and here is the end of the story. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, number one, if you leave a mountain or an F-150 in your hotel room, they will not be able to find it. They will not have seen it. I don't know what it is, but that is like the Twilight Zone or the Bermuda Triangle. Hotel housekeeping is the same thing as the Bermuda Triangle. What goes in? never comes out. If you don't bring it with you, you'll never find it again. It could be a mountain in the middle of a room. They will say they didn't see it. So, just got this in the mail. This, my friends, is the back of it. Boom, it's the Coros 2, uh, Coros Pace 2, right? This is like the run, the this extreme running version of it. Doesn't have all the other stuff that the Apex has, but I don't really think I need all that. I don't plan on going ice skating, skiing, snowboarding, um, snorkeling, scuba diving. Uh, skydiving, um, walking in a park, uh, painting your home. I'm not planning on doing any of those activities, so I think that they thought that the Pace 2 was best for me. And so here we are. This is a magic trick. <laughs> that was fun. Um, that was actually pretty satisfying. <laughs> so, oh, here we are. Oh, I got a colorful one. Oh, what are we doing here? This is the Oh, look at that. This is one of the ones that is like based on the track and field uh, colors. So this is the Pace 2. We're going to take this off. Explore Perfection. There we go. 
this is it guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much to corals you guys are so fun and amazing and i cannot wait 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 to put some miles on this bad boy so i have today off today's friday uh, friday is always my off day so it is what it is i won't be able to wear this really until tomorrow i'm gonna wear it today but i'm not gonna be able to use it until tomorrow thank you so much corals i will let you guys know and also people if you want um a corals let me know um i can't get it for free um but i can give you a code and you can get like some of the accessories for free so that's dope thank you peace out man this is down i'm so glad i lost that corals in that hotel room let me tell you that much